What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We finally got the lookbook for Fear of God's Essentials Diffusion Line. So basically what Essentials is, is a diffusion line from Fear of God. So it's going to have more simplified versions of the mainline pieces at a way lower price point. Now this isn't Jerry Lorenzo's first time trying to offer some lower priced pieces. You know, we did do like a collaboration with PacSun, retailing for like a tenth of the regular line's price. So basically Essentials is like a new brand with its own identity. Basically they're trying to lace up their younger fans who can't afford the higher price point items with the baseline Essentials for their closet. Now for the jeans, it's gonna be in the same price point as like APC, which are made overseas, but still very good quality. So you can get a pair of Fear of God jeans for close to $1,000, or you can get a similar pair for like two to $300, which is a big difference but still a little pricey. I mean, it's definitely not cheap, but it is a big difference from the Fear of God price point. And we all know why it's coming out with a cheaper line. Basically, Jerry Lorenzo is just tired of his brand getting knocked off by all these other companies. So that is why we have Essentials. Now for this Essentials line, he's going different with the wash. He's going more for like that sandy, dusty vibe, which is different from the raw denim and stone washed that's really popular within the Fear of God line. Now I'm sure you've seen it online, on Instagram, all these ads, people selling the Fear of God look for way less and obviously people are gonna buy because they want that cheaper option which is why we have essentials now but the price point still isn't that low so the collection balances a neutral color palette and layering pieces with that grunge look which was made famous by the fear of god mainline so it's gonna have denim jackets basketball shorts hoodies and coach jackets and it's gonna have that signature fear of god slouchy cuts with like the usual long drawstrings and the ankle zippers, along with the chunky high top sneakers, which I think are pretty dope. So it's gonna have like essentials branding, just to add something to the pieces, which I'm just not too big of a fan of. My opinion, I would've just preferred having it plain. I don't think it needed essentials on it at all, because it kind of takes away from it being an essential piece, which is what the collection is supposed to be about. I mean, I don't know, I just feel like it's more clean without it. But I mean, I don't know, that's just my thoughts on it. Now, my guess is he's gonna keep this pretty limited, but honestly, who knows? Now, from a brand point of view, I can understand why he kept it pretty simple and did not use many graphics at all. So this line will be available sometime in April. We're gonna see how all that plays out. Who knows, I might pick something up. And I'm kinda curious on if this is gonna be worth the price. So it is what it is, we'll see what happens. Now, I want you guys to let me know in the comments below how you feel about this Essentials line. Just let me know your thoughts, if you're feeling it or not. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and slap a like on it for me. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I can't thank ya, yeah, I don't wanna stress I bought a foreign whip but I don't wanna flex Step back and shoot and it hit nothing but net